you know where you are? This is Nollywood Pictures to you. and testament of Chief Ume Umejesi of Ume's village in Enuguku, Njikoka local government area of Anambra state of Nigeria, made this 17th day of June 2009. I, Chief Ume Umejesi, hereby appoint Barrister Dimba Apambo of Abambo Chambers as executors of my last will and testament. I, Chief Ume Umejesi, hereby give a legacy gift of my company, Umbrella Group of Companies, with its assets and liabilities to my son, Victor Umejesi Esquire. He is to take over as the president and chief executive officer of the company. I, Chifume Umejesi, hereby give a legacy gift of my company, Umejesi Oil and Gas Limited, with its assets and liabilities to my son, Daniel Umejesi Esquire. He is to take over as the president and chief executive officer of the company. I, Chief Ume Umejesi, hereby order that a compulsory sum of one million naira monthly be paid from the account of Umbrella Group of Companies to my widow, Chief Mrs. Shaw Umejesi. This monthly payment must continue until she joins me. All my descendants must continue to live in the castle, known as Umejesi Castle, pending when any of them decides to vacate for another house. In witness whereof, Chief Ume Umejesi hereby append his sign and seal, the day, month, and year first above written. That is the will. That is not my father's will. Order! And it can never be my father's will. Order. I won't accept it, it's not his will. Young man, Order. take it easy. Order. You're in court premises. It's nonsense, and I am the firstborn of this family, and I deserve to have the family's first business. Victor is playing games on me. Yes, he is, and I want to show him and every other person that I'm the firstborn of this family, and I deserve the family's first business. Daniel, I don't know how you're going to challenge him, but please, do not take it to the extreme. I don't want to lose any of my sons. Son? You call Victor a son? Well, I don't call him this. I won't call him that. He's nothing but an intruder. That is what it is. And I'm going to prove to him and every other person that I am the first one. And I will get what I want. Watch him. I should have let him have his way. I guess I pushed him too hard. And now I'm regretting everything. Sorry. It'll be okay.
I tell you the way forward, would you listen to me? Depends on what you say. You should call a family meeting. Your brother is an honorable man. He would listen to the voice of reason. Sydney, I'm the firstborn of this family. Do you agree that I should be entitled to everything? Mm hmm. I understand that perfectly well. I do. But you had the wishes of the dead. I may not know a lot of things, but I do know you do not go against their wishes. Whose side are you on? Theirs or mine? Your mother, the self-acclaimed Madam Shaw, is the problem we have in this family. And I say it's high time we dealt with her. You're telling me to my face that I, we, we, we should deal with my mother? What does that mean? Hmm. Your mother, you've always listened to her. Even when you perceived that what she was telling you was wrong. Small wonder. Your father treated you as a woman. I see you deal with her now, or she'll bring you to your ruins. Do you know, this is the same woman that saw you good enough to be a daughter-in-law and got us married. And you're saying we, 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 we should deal with her? We should sort her out? Meaning what? If you must know, your mother has this domineering attitude that I find extremely disgusting. All she wants is to be in the position of power and authority. I say we deal with her now. Because she has nothing to offer. I'm on the inside, I know. I see it all the time. Victor, have you ever wondered why they call me Madame Shaw? They call me Madame Shaw because I'm always sure. I don't make mistakes. The low life girl you married against my wish is the problem we're having in this family. And if you want peace to reign, you must send her back in. You know, I believe Father said it best when he said, you will never understand the end of your problems if you don't understand its beginnings. Victor, I am telling you what to do and you're giving me proverbs. Father blessed my union with all his heart and he charged me to look after that young woman as long as I live. It's a responsibility that I'm willing to take as long as I live, mother. My wife is not a problem. She will never be a problem. We need to get together as one, tolerate each other, live with each other so this family can stand firmly. Victor. If your plan is to indirectly make me accept the low-class girl you married against my wish, then you must be joking. It will not work. What exactly did my wife do wrong? She is a nobody. She has no foundation. No track record. She cannot be entrusted with anything in this family. And yet, Father called this nobody a noble woman. A noble woman, Mom. That's what Father called her. And she was the last person he blessed before he passed on. That is not my business. Victor, are you aware that I pushed your father to greatness? When I see people who are destined for greatness, I know. And your Millicent, or whatever you call her, 
is not one of them. Yet Millicent, she has similar background to yours, mother. It's true. Your background with hers is very akin. And yet single-handedly, you turned around the fortunes of your family to its present greatness. I believe in Millicent. I believe she can do the same. Mother, she breathed all odds, poverty, degradation, mental and physical abuse to make a first class in business administration. Even now as we speak, she has revolutionary ideas that is going to turn the fortunes of this company around. How dare you tell me that the daughter of a wretched Otocha based goldsmith will be the one to turn my company around? Let her go and turn around her miserable family before thinking of what else to turn around. I've listened to that testament and last will and I'm going to stick to it to the letter. I'm afraid I must run, mother. I have an appointment with medicine. Everyone now talks back at me. Cindy, there's something I want you to understand. We are the two women that were married into this family. And I see us as a future. I want us to resolve on how to proceed to making this family a better one. In what way? First of all, your husband sees my husband as a traitor. He once called him an intruder. But deep down in my heart, I know that he did not mean it. He only said it because he was upset. Cindy, we are the ones saddled with the responsibility of making this family a better one. It is our responsibility to manage the two brothers. Let's do our work. I strongly believe that the only problem we have in this house is our mother-in-law. And we've got to face her. We've got to confront her. No matter the situation, I don't think it would be wise for us to confront her. At all. It's not, it's not the best thing to do. Millicent, are you telling me you're not aware of our antiques? No, I'm not saying that. I will agree with you if you say that she's adopted this way of life that... Uh, I don't know what to say. But we would not take it away from her. That all she wants is the happiness, the well-being of her children. What we have to do is to make her see that we are completely committed to the happiness and the success of our husbands. And she will change. To an extent, I'll agree with you. But our mother-in-law is a busybody and a troublemaker at that. And the only way to deal with people like her is to confront them. I'm sorry, Shindi, I would not be part of that. No, I won't. Look, this family is now facing a terrible time where choice has become very elusive. We cannot afford to confront Madame Shaw. And do not forget, she is still the lady of this castle. 
and she deserves all our respect despite whatever she does. Cindy, listen to me. Instead of you to put so much energy into this confrontation thing, why don't you turn that energy into good use? Why don't you bring out the virtue woman that you were supposed to be and make this family a better one? We can join hands together and we can make it perfect. Hmm. Very well then. I appreciate your sincere concern. But I do know what to do. Dan, what you're asking me to do is tantamount to disobeying the dead. Father wheeled an um, umbrella group of companies to me and be quoted emergency oil and gas to you. Now you're asking me to do the legal impossible and begin to exchange them? It's not possible. Victor, do you know I'm the firstborn? I'm the elder here, and I need to take care of the family's first business. I need to be in charge of a group of companies and not just manage emergency oil and gas. It's not my portion. It's like settling for less. Why would anybody want me to do that? I saw Cindy Odobo and proposed to her on your behalf. In fact, I married her for you. She's no longer what I bargained for. So you're starting her divorce process tomorrow. Mother, I'm in the middle of a very important conversation. And wh wh why would you even want me to divorce Cindy? You will divorce Cindy because she's an idiot that must not be tolerated. She's not what I bargained for. She has overstayed her welcome in this family and she must be thrown out. Victor, talk to your mother. Cindy is my wife. You need to watch your utterance. Hey! Dan, you listen to me. Cindy Odogu remains a terrible mistake in this family. And I want her out immediately. What's wrong with this woman? What's wrong with your mother? She's always causing problems. Always. My mother, well, my mother happened to think you're helpless without her. That you're not man enough to handle your issues alone. And that is why she can barge in and say those things about your wife and walk out. So when you're ready to handle your issues like a man, perhaps my mother will leave you alone. Having said that, you two know how you resolve your issues all the time. When you're ready to handle your issues as a man, I have spoken as a man, I'm going home to my wife to be a man. have the right to use that word good because you don't know the name. Meaning? The only person who can correct a mistake is the person who made that mistake. Why are you sounding like this? As your daughter-in-law, don't I deserve a bit of courtesy when I'm being addressed? Cindy, you are leaving my house first thing tomorrow morning. Wait a minute, Madam Shaw. Just called me by my name? What do you mean I'm leaving your house tomorrow morning? Are you in any way trying to get me angry? Cindy, I brought you into this house because I thought you had manners. But now I've realized that you are not a wife material, so you must leave. <laughs> and I, the daughter of a senator, a millionaire, will tell you that I do not have time for busybodies like you. 
in this house. You get up and listen to me because we've got to solve this right now. I've had it. Now, Cindy, I want you to listen to me. There are too many things getting awkward for me and I don't need you to compound it. Now, why are you shouting? Your mother is leaving this house tomorrow and that is my decision. Nobody, least of all you, will stop me or ask me questions. You want my mother, Madam Shaw, to leave the famous Umejisi family house because of you? You crazy? She pulled the trigger first and I'm going to show her that I am the daughter of a senator! Life's so unpredictable Ah, uh, Mrs. Umejisi. Don't you think you're calling the wrong person? By the way, you are the one that said that I'm a local woman from Ozaluno. Why not discuss your problem with a local woman? If you do not want to bury your daughter, just call her this minute and ask her to leave my house this night. And you think you can kill Cindy? Are you underestimating my powers? I was the one who married that uncultured daughter of yours. And I can deal with her anytime. Then if you know you're marrying an uncultured girl, why don't you bend her so that she'll do what you want? Don't ever call me to discuss it again, okay? My daughter is a vibrant woman that knows what being a lady is all about. And she does not take rubbish from anybody. Is this a conspiracy or what? discussion with Cindy today and um, she says that the best way forward is to confront your mother. You know, I'm beginning to think um, Cindy is a troublemaker. <laughs> Seriously, I think you should avoid her. Advice is no good at all. Why don't you like her? Maybe I like everybody. But there's just something about her that gives this impression of the surreal, you know? She's faking it. Now, apart from the fact she graduated from Valparaiso University and her dad is a senator, there's truthfully nothing outstanding about Cindy. That's my opinion. You know, you just called her um, a troublemaker. Mm -hmm. That's exactly the same thing that she called your mom. She thinks that your mom is the head of all the problems that we have in this house and that's why she advises that we confront her. And um, what did you tell her that got that kind of reply? Nothing. I just told her that that was not going to be part of any confrontation. That your mother deserves all our respect, and that's what I'm going to give to her. And her response? She said I was entitled to my own opinions, and that she knows what to do. Baby, listen. First and foremost, confrontations does not solve a problem. Compounds it. Okay? Yeah. That's, that's just not how to. We dialogue. We, we're civil people. We don't confront. There's no point for it. Everybody our advice or anything in that sort, it just don't mean well. Okay? Yes, baby. It's mm. my girl. The general impression in this house is that we have too many housekeepers. So, that's why I've called this, so we can have a downsizing. Madam, I, I don't understand, sir. Ma, ma, I, I put ma. I believe in mutual agreements. 
so I've called you all here so we can have, you know, an understanding. Uh, Madam, is there a way you can, you can break it down for us to understand? Can you tell me one good reason? Or can you give me a reason why these people are still working here, considering the fact that the economic meltdown is affecting us so badly? Madam, maybe they didn't tell you. We are answerable to Chief Mrs. Shaw, Umejesi, the lady of this house. And she has never told us that our services are no longer required. Moreover, I don't know the connection we have with the much advertised global economic meltdown. I don't know. And what is your name? Okeke. Okeke Ubaku, to be precise. Okeke Nukumumonyo Gadele Monyo Luo Oh, shut up! You're fired! Eh? Is that the way they fire? You just wake up, you say you fire? Listen, I have a contract. Go in and pack your things and leave this house! There is a running contract. It is going to expire. February next year 28th of february next year are you marking the date listen not only me all these people that are standing here all of us are, are on running contracts so you cannot just wake up and say you have fired somebody our contract is very big and listen i am married to the first son of late chief umejisi i run this house and any contract you have is null and void an idiot who has been fired cannot fire anybody. You have refused to humble yourself and learn the protocol of this castle. Status quo maintained. Go back to your point of duty. Thank you. Thank you. What was that? Are you trying to belittle me in front of your They were employed by my husband and you do not have any right whatsoever to fire any of them. Really? <laughs> we shall see. I'm waiting. <laughs> so, so that all you saying? Ask for any amount you want. I just want to be in charge of an group of companies. That's all I ask. I don't care about the money. All I care about is the law. You cannot take over umbrella group of companies because it's been willed to your brother. Umetis oil and gas you inherited is worth more than a billion naira. I don't know why you're not content with that. I'm not content because it is not the family's first business. It is not our main business. I am the first son. And I deserve to be in charge of the family's first business. That's what I want. You're talking tradition here. And the will that my client bequeathed to his successors and title lays no credence to tradition. Domino knew your father had always believed you listened to everything your mother said. And that was why Umbrella Group of Companies wasn't willed to you. I'm sorry, Mr. Barrister. But I can assure you that if I don't get charge of Umbrella Group of Companies, there will be war in this family. I have a mandate of my client to protect his family and his company. And Dan, I'm not comfortable with that. Well, then figure out how to get me what I want. Because I want what I want. Get my brother to be in charge of emergency oil and gas. I am the first son. I want to be the one to sit in his chair. I'm actually negotiating with a company in France to come in and partner with you in emergency oil and gas industry. I am not interested in any partnership with my friend. I'm not. Just tell me what you want. Any amount. And I will pay it. I have the money. There's nothing you'll pay me that will compete with what your father has paid me already. And listen, I'm a credible lawyer in this country. And I cannot dance to the gallery, okay? Good afternoon. Fair enough. Well, just know that you are not the only legal brain in this country. I will speak to other lawyers. This is not the end of it. You haven't seen the last of me yet. So, 
I called you here to acknowledge as well as um, extend the degree of trust my father had for you. You worked for my father for several years and not one day did he have one word of complaint about you. That's true, sir. I'm impressed with that. It's a resume all on its, on its own, you know, and um, for that reason, um, I want to retain you here as a senior manager. Thank you very much, sir. As you know, Mr. Konko, I was educated in some of the finest schools in the world. I have two MBAs, business administration. My wife has got um, a first class in business administration, but all this is nothing to the real day-to-day -day field work of the, of the job. I want to amalgamate efforts with you. I want you to grant me access to all the physical information you have about the running, the day-to-day -day run of this conglomerate. I want us to see things the way they are. I don't want a superior subordinate relationship. I don't want you to see it as a takeover of sorts. Rather, I'm here to complement what you built here as a structure and to take it to the next level. Do you understand? It's okay. So for that reason, I... Mr. Congo, please excuse me. This will not take a moment. Yeah, this is a barrister Abango speaking. Yeah, your, your brother is interested in your position and you have to be very careful. I'm by no means naive, sir. I, I know what's going on. I'm trading with a great deal of caution. He just left my office and he dropped some words that gave him out as being dangerous. I just called to keep you posted and I'm wondering if we could see in the evening. Of course, we are. I'd say the VIP club and spas. 7.30, uh, will, it, will it be okay with you? Okay then. I'll see you, sir. Have a nice day. I'm, uh, I'm always at your service, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Happy, happy to know I'm, I too are yours. Thank you so much. That this world is not your property. Did you ever have to stop to notice that you never always? I know where the problem started, and I'm going to end it. Is there any problem, ma? That's the way it is. Okay, okay. Where is that idiot that said she fired you? I saw her leave. I don't know where she was going, ma. And where is Millicent? She should be in her way, ma. Call her for me. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Ma. Please. Don't tell her as if it's an order. Tell her to see me when it's convenient for her. Um, Mr. KK, I hope all is well. Yes, everything is okay. See, all the people that are working in this house, the males, the females, we have come to the noble conclusion that you are different from your colleague. I am sorry, I don't understand what you're talking about. Who are my colleagues? You know, I, I didn't say colleagues as in many. I said only one colleague as in one. But... Another time we can continue with that very discussion. But you see, Madame asked me to come and call you. She said that you don't have to be in a hurry. In fact, she was very emphatic that you have to come at your convenient time. <sighs> My mother-in-law asked you to call me. Yes, your mother-in-law. Do you know Madame Shaw? Do you know where we call her, call her Madame Shaw? She is the only woman on earth that knows where she's coming from and where she's going. She's always sure. Okay, um, I'm just excited. Just tell her that I'll be behind the next one minute, please. Good. She's waiting for you in the central living room. Okay. And I, I am going to add, when I get there, I am going to inform her that you received this message with a gracious smile. <laughs> she's smiling again. Thank okay, you very she's much. She's going to smile again. <laughs> 
Thank you very much. I will just deliver the message like that. I'm sorry, Mother, but you're confusing me. You don't look okay. Is everything all right? I am bothered. I am bothered! Why? <clears throat> My daughter, are you sure you have what it takes to screw up to that woman? Are you sure? Mother, she was the one who stepped up to me first. I'm not going to fold my arms and watch that woman turn me into a second fiddle. <laughs> I was told that woman is very fetish. And I wonder if you know that about her. Honestly, Mother, that's her beeswax. She can threaten everybody with her domineering antics, but certainly not me. Her intention is to assume, or rather, Frighten everybody and assume perfect control over the family. Ah, mother, I will tell her that it's not an easy road. <sighs> um, anyway, I called your father last night and he said he's going to come back next week. Oh, mother, I hope you haven't told father about <laughs> Madame Shaw, because she's certainly not a topic for discourse. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> will put her in her place. <laughs> My daughter, thread carefully with Madame Shaw. I beg you, be cool, ma. be cool. Thread carefully. You worry too much. You worry too much, mom. I'm sorry, Ma, but she was the one that called for the meeting. She virtually said everything. I didn't know that it was a wrong thing for me to have gone there. I'm sorry. Why would you attend a secret meeting in this house? Are you not aware that I'm the one in charge? I'm sorry, Ma, but I did not go there to spite you. As a matter of fact, I did not even see it as a meeting. Cindy called me and asked me to meet her in the waiting room, which I did. And we sat down and we talked like women who were married to brothers. I'm sorry if this got you angry. It was not my intention. Millicent. Yes, ma'am. Can we work together? I don't understand. Millicent. Forget the fact that I was against you. The issue right now is that you are now living in this house. Are you going to work with me to put her in her place? Mom, I'm not a troublemaker. Millicent, your existence in this house is threatened if you don't work with me. So if you still want to remain relevant, you have to be on my side. Are you ready? Can I have some time to at least think about it? No. I don't believe in afterthoughts. Everything that makes up Millicent Okoye is standing right here before me. So, are you ready to work with me? I, I don't have any problem with Cindy. What are you saying in essence? Mom, in essence, what I'm trying to say is that whatever differences that we're having in this family can never be solved with confrontation. We can handle it maturely and amicably. Confrontation will only worsen everything. It will only drive us apart. It won't be the best for the family. Get out.
Are you angry because I just told you the truth? Don't you ever make me remember your miserable background. Get out. Thank you. One more thing. If you don't work with me, I will assume you're working against me and I'm going to cry until you to me. Don't ever regret your decision, okay? We are not used to her threat. She is not as dangerous as people tend to believe. I want you to learn how to follow her slowly. And you will realize that she's a very nice woman. But I'm sure, very nice woman. Yeah. Thank you. So when you cry the sky, Your father's will has been generating some controversies in some quarters recently. A national daily even wrote um, an editorial comment on it. What do you want? That's why I'm here. I'm here to deal with the controversy. I mean, people have been asking questions about the will because it did not follow the normal, standard African family procedure where the eldest son gets the best of everything. And that is what I want to challenge, that abnormality. That's why I'm here. But I understand that uh, Barista Pangbo is your family lawyer and therefore the executor of the will. What about him? It definitely follows that uh, if there was any abnormality in the will, he should resolve it. Why should you be looking for another lawyer when Barista Pangbo is still alive? Let me tell you something. I found out that he is from the same village, the same hometown as the girl that my brother just married. It's a mutual conspiracy, and I don't want it. I want him out. I'm sorry to disappoint you, young man. But Mr. Akpango is too elevated to be involved in such cheap conspiracy. So you call me a liar? Do I look like a liar to you? Look at me. Do I look like a liar? Hmm? I'm looking at the person of the man you're calling a conspirator. But Mr. Akpango would not be involved in any manipulations of the will. No, he won't. Do you know what was given to me as the eldest son? I was given to manage only Omega City Oil and Gas, a company my father created seven years ago. And my younger brother was given the parent company for him to be the CEO. And that is not right in any ideal situation. Now you just mention your price and I'll pay you. <laughs> okay. Now you're bringing sentiments into this. And you know what? Sentiments are unknown in law. And so I would advise that you go back and see Barisat Pangbo and ask him what he has to say. He is too learned to be involved in such cheap conspiracy. Okay? Good day. <clears throat> Madam. You were there when the probate officer read the will. So why are you sounding as if you sent a proxy to represent you there? In the absence of my husband, Barista, I am next in command. Ma'am, that's in some places, okay? What do you mean I'm right in some places? Listen, my husband, the late chief Ume Umejisi, placed everything in my care. Oh, are you challenging that? I'm not, okay? Better. But that would have been valid if your late husband had died in test state. That's without a will. But my client left a will. And you were there when the will was read. So I don't understand this whole noise and why you're shouting in my office. Paris, I 
Alistair, I pushed my husband to riches. He was a nobody when I met him. So that will that was read couldn't have been my husband's will because he knew he would not place me on salary. Madam, are you saying that the will did not originate from your husband? Definitely not. Then you can go ahead and brief a lawyer, okay? Call a lawyer and both of you can go ahead and challenge it. Shouting in my office cannot neutralize the effectiveness of a legal document that has passed through the whole processes at the probate, madam. It's not possible. Should I tell you the truth, Barista Abambo? I'm all ears, okay? You are a clown. You're just conniving with your sister to hijack my family. But I'm telling you here and now that all your calculations are flawed. Wait, my, 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 just, just wait. I'm sorry, but uh, who are you calling my sister? You are such an idiot to ask me such rubbish. To stop to notice that this world is not your property. Did you ever have to stop to notice that you never always have it just your way? There will always be twist in town. So that's the way it is. And you can't change your thing Cause the truth remains So it may It's better than silver rain Yeah, hello. Um, the first son of emergency uh, uh, suspecting that his father's will was manipulated. Who told you that? Well, he, he came to brief me and uh, he actually wants to challenge um, the will. Uh, but I advised him, of course, to go back to you. So, so why, why would you turn down the brief? His mother is only in my office and I believe they have good money to spend. Mm. Well, the young man... Um, um, said that the woman his younger brother married uh, was your sister and therefore he suspects that there is a conspiracy. He, he must be a jester because I don't even know the woman. I don't know the woman at all. Well, I advise you call them and resolve this, okay? Solving the problem in the manner they want will be tantamount to my disobeying my client. And I wouldn't want to do that. Okay, claims that why not advise them to challenge the matter in court? You know, you can make good money from it, you know. After all, you're in this town to make money. Yeah, push them to court. I'll love, I'll love the court to settle this matter once and for all. It's all right, then. Talk to you later, man. Okay. No problem. I'll, I'll see you later. Well, what can I do? Honestly, Dan, don't you think you're getting angry over nothing? I'm not getting angry for nothing because Okeke told me you had a meeting with my mother and I want to know what you two spoke about. Well, if my meeting with your mother bothers you so much, why don't you just go straight to her and ask her what it was about? Millicent, I don't want to get angry with you. Just tell me what happened between my mother and yourself. Well, That's all I want. It was strictly women's business. Is that right? Okay. What's between you and that barrister friend of yours? Which barrister? You know who I'm talking about, the family lawyer. Well, I don't know him. Oh, yeah? Are you not from Otowicha? <laughs> then what has that got to do with this? Exactly. You and him, you are from the same village. And you've conspired to hijack this family. But I can put it to your face, you will not succeed. You will not succeed. Then why are you accusing me for nothing? I told you I do not know who this barrister is. And I have no intention of putting this family through anything bad. I don't. So please stop accusing me. Hi. 
There's only one way to prove it. I need you to tell your husband to take over the management of emergency oil and gas. And I want to sit on my father's seat. I am the first child. I deserve to be the head of Umbrella Group of Companies. That's all I'm telling you. And that's the only way you can prove to me that you have nothing to do with the barrister. Yes? He have you discussed it with him before? No, he's not willing to listen to me. That is why you come in the picture. You know, Dan, money is a stranger. It can visit you today. And it could also leave you tomorrow. Don't hang on to it. Millicent, what's your problem? Is it because I allow you to marry my brother? That's why you can sit in front of me and speak in parables as if I'm stupid? What's the meaning of money is a stranger? Very well then. I will discuss what you just told me with my husband. Better. At least he knows exactly what I'm talking about. He knows the true meaning of what you call parables. Look. Dan. My husband loves you more than he loves money. I'm very sure he would give in to your offer. Whatever. Dan. Dan, wait. See, before your father died, he laid his hands on me and he called me a noble woman. It's such a pity that he's not alive today for me to prove that to him. All I'm trying to let you know, Dan, is that I owe this family a lot. So as you leave, have it at the back of your mind that I can die for this family. Good night, Millicent. Now, victory was into you. This matter is very important. And I wanted to approach it from the point of law. Mr. Bambo, I can't allow the law to undermine my family. My family is paramount. I cannot inherit the law and lose my only brother. It's not possible. Your time should allow sentiments to override common sense. Times like this. I worked with your father for 13 solid years. And I have a boldness to assert that I served him faithfully. Now look into my face and tell me what you want. The togetherness of my family. It's always taking precedence in our lives. I can't allow us to break up now. I'd rather give my brother and brother a group of companies. I want you to arrange the meeting between myself and the investors from France. Then I'll take over the management of former Jersey Oil and Gas. I I'm sorry, I, I can't do that. I can do it. I have thorough instructions from your late father. And I cannot go contrary to it. I, I, I cannot do that. I'm sorry for that. Well, it's um, a good argument, sir, but look at it from this point of view. We're the ones that are alive. Mm -hmm. With the deepest of respects, my father's dead. We manage the crisis of today. And there's an economic, you know, approach to things now. My father has always trained me to go every step ahead of things, to be abreast of matters. This matter is to be handled by the living, not the dead. So are you saying you're going to disobey your father? I'd rather my family stay together and I still maintain its paramount than breaking them apart because of small demands like where we should be and where we shouldn't be. I appreciate what are you saying, but um, I have to protect the legacy of my client. That's all. Mr. Bamba, the greatest legacy my father left behind is his family. If we lose that legacy, then there's no company to manage eventually. 
That's true, okay, that's true. I'll go back and think over it, okay? Let's finish up your drink. I'll finish up your drink and let's go. Why are you looking as if I'm not communicating? Look, Cindy, I am more concerned with pressing issues. I need to get back what has been taken away from me by some legal manipulation. And whatever tussle you have, whatever nonsense power tussle you have with my mother doesn't exist to me. Solve it. Are you aware she's still in my path? Well, avoid her path then. She's your mother-in-law, isn't she? Wait a minute, Dan. Are you saying you're not concerned with all the things she's been doing to me? Cindy, we are husband and wife today because of my mother. And you cannot afford to have issues with her. And you can definitely not say that she has to leave this house. Because she is the madam of Umejisi family house. You can't say that. Then why would she call my mother and tell her that I've got no manners? Why would she do that? Because maybe you don't have manners. You have the honors to prove to her that you do have manners. There are more pressing things at stake. Unbelievable group of companies has been taken away from me. I need to figure out how to get it back. Now, whatever squabbles you have with my mother, it's not my concern. It's petty. Solve it. It's your shit. Linya. Dan. What's wrong with you? What has come over you? Acting as if you, you, know, you, don't, you, don't, you don't care about the crisis happening here. There is no crisis in this family. The Umbrella Group of Companies is a dead company. 